TPC wire and cables RJ45 connector for large diameter cable is designed for use with the TPC industrial ethernet cable family. Featuring a staggered conductor comb to maximize space, fully shielded zinc die cast housing, and simple two-piece crimp design, this RJ45 makes the perfect connector for industrial applications. To begin, we will remove the cable jacket 35 millimeters from the end of the cable. Using a blade or TPC cable stripper, we'll make a cut around the circumference of the cable at our measurement. Be sure not to extend the blade too far. Once our cut is made, we'll gently bend the cable to verify we've cut the full circumference of the cable, as well as separating the jacket we want removed from the jacket of the remaining cable. Pulling off the jacket, we expose the overall braided shield. To begin trimming the shielding, we'll pull the braided shield back to the cable jacket, then use flush cutters along the length of the shielding to score the shield. Then, continue to trim around the edge of the cable jacket to bring the shielding to length. Next, we'll separate the pairs and score the foil shield at the edge of the braided shield. Once done, we can now tear the foil shield around the circumference of the pair to remove the pair shielding. Be sure not to nick the insulation at this point. For ease of termination, we untwist the individual pairs while trying to keep the white conductor close to the paired colored conductor. We find it easier to separate the pairs in the four cardinal directions coming out of the cable. This separation is crucial for easily identifying each pair. Utilizing the included conductor sheet attached to the connector, determine your wiring. The relevant rows are shown by the arrows pointing to their relevant inspection holes on the body of the connector. To populate the connector, we'll begin by loading the longer row of conductors, or the top row of the conductor sheet. To do so, begin sliding the conductors through the appropriate holes. With this row populated, we'll begin populating the other row by clipping the conductors into place via the comb. To do so, simply straighten the conductors into their proper location using your fingernail. Then fully seat them into their location. You may notice some conductor crossing near the cable jacket. That's okay, as long as the conductors are straight in the connector body. Take the black strain relief around to the front side of the cable. Using your thumb, press the strain relief into place. Now, using a vise or pliers, continue compressing the strain relief to snap it into position. Inspect the strain relief to guarantee that it's in the proper location. Using flush cutters, snip the extra conductor length to the end of the face of the conductor seat. Using the stepped profile on the two housing halves, line up the halves. Using your thumbs and pointer fingers, begin compressing the two halves together, beginning the seating process. Using a vise or pliers, continue compressing the two halves of the housing to properly seat the insulation displacement contacts into the conductors. Inspect the connector, verifying that there are no gaps between the two halves of the housing material. At this point, the connection should be securely made and able to be tested with a standard network cable tester. Thank you for watching this instructional video by TPC. Did you know that TPC Wire offers custom assemblies through our custom cable solution services? For more information or to request a quote, please visit tpcwire.com.